Law enforcement officers of Reddit, is there an arrest in your career that broke your heart to make, but it was your duty to make it? I'm not law enforcement but the cops in my town had to arrest my mom on Christmas morning. I was 17 and my dad was already in prison. They knocked on the door and she went with them with no fight. They didn't contact anyone because of my age. So I was completely alone on Christmas. The arresting officer came back to my front door with tears coming down his face. He told me what was going to happen and what they arrested her for, embezzlement. I could tell the man's heart was broken. He kept apologizing saying that it was just his job and he was so sorry. It turns out the whole 4 years she was in jail. That officer would look out for me triple time, due to the fact that my mom's abusive ex was after me. He is probably one of the best cops I've ever met. I'm grateful that he was the man that arrested her. He also arrested her ex when he broke into my house two weeks after. He set me up with a PFA and looked out for me. He changed my view on police completely. About 20 years ago. I was charged with DUI. I later had the charge dismissed in court. But here in Manitoba. Once you are charged. You have to take mandatory addictions counseling. In my class. One of the guys charged had been to a Christmas party and had a DD drive him home. The DD needed to stop at 7-11 for some reason. And it being a Manitoba winter. Left the car running with the drunk guy passed out in the passenger seat. A cop car pulled up and woke the guy up to charge him with care and control of a vehicle while intoxicated. The keys weren't even in the vehicle. The driver used his remote starter to leave the vehicle running so the guy would stay warm. My father was friends in high school with a guy who was once a police officer. But later resigned. He was forced to shoot a pregnant woman because she was firing a weapon towards him. Her husband had drugged her earlier that night in hopes of killing the child. But called 911 when she became violent and threatened to shoot him. The meds caused her to hallucinate and she used a gun on the officer who arrived at the scene. Edit. Sadly. No. Not an arrest. But I wrote a 78 year old Vietnam veteran a no seatbelt ticket on Veterans Day as he was driving home from getting a job at the Veterans Affairs Hospital. I was in training and my training officer wouldn't budge. The old man cried. I felt about 6 tall and wanted to cry myself. Worst experience on the job thus far and I've seen some shti. I'm not law enforcement but I did work as a store detective for a high ticket debt store. The Friday before the Mother's Day weekend I had to arrest a guy who got out of jail 36 hours before. He was stealing over $1000 in clothes. When we searched his bags he had bought his mother a card and a dressing gown at another store. This one tore me up because of his mom. No matter what mistakes he had made. Her son just spent 5 years inside and got out just in time for Mother's Day. I know she would have been excited that she could see her son on Mother's Day and now she wouldn't. I was so angry at him for doing that. He could have fronted up with nothing but prison fatigues and flowers he picked on the way and she would have been happy. Seriously FCK that guy. When I was a kid. My dad was a huge druggie. One night he came home after being gone for several days on a binge. He was completely stoned and wasted and from what I remember. He was also in possession of coke. So my mom calls the cops and they come to get him. I remember I was crying and yelling because I didn't want them to take my dad away so one of the cops come up to me to try to calm me down and I remember telling him that I hated him and I just wanted him to leave me alone. I can still see the dejected look on his face. I feel so bad about that now because I know how much of a piece of shti my dad is and how nice it was of that officer to try and calm little 6 year old me down. The person who tested me for my driver's test told me this story. She works both jobs. A 19 year old male got a 17 year old pregnant. They absolutely adored each other and were the happiest couple and planned on raising the child. However the girl's parents hated every aspect. So they called it our pay and that he must be arrested. When the child was being born the officer had to drag him away in cuffs moments before the child was born. Two years into the arrest trial he never got to see his son. 
It ruined her to the point of which she needed to take time away from being a cop and needed a second job to keep up with payments. This was 4 years ago and I really do wish I could have found her to hear the rest of the story. Age of consent laws should suck less. Till police officers are trapped by stupid amounts of bureaucracy. I'll think twice before pointing the finger from now on. I'm from the Yukon Territory in northern Canada. No I don't live in an igloo or have a pet polar bear. But I wish I did because a pet polar bear would be fking awesome. Comma and the cops are usually super cool. One night a cop pulled over because we were walking and drinking a beer. He lets us finish the beer and he took the cans after since we were not near a trash can. Another time my buddy was being cheeky and asked a cop what would I have to do to get tasered? The cop replied something very stupid. To which my buddy thought about for a second then proceeded to slap the cop. The cop took the slap and calmly backhanded my buddy to ground and said you are a ballsy moth earthka, but I'm still not going to taser you. Probably the funniest thing I have seen. Got called to a retail theft. Security caught a young teen girl stealing clothes from a store. When I walk in I see her crying her eyes out. I ask her why she was stealing and she says her sister. Which is some sort of medical condition that made her use those arm crunches things just got asked out on a date for the first time in her life and she wanted to make her sister look beautiful because she was so happy she got asked out. I got a lump in my throat from her story. I tried to plead with the managers to let me pay for her but they refused. Had to arrest her but I let her sign a promise to appear and gave her $30 and told her to go to another store and buy her something. I had to arrest an elderly man who had been harassing young women who he kept referring to as his kittens. He was definitely suffering from some sort of mental condition and he meant no harm from it. But after several warnings by some other officers over a period of weeks we just had to do it. When it is an older person I don't like arresting them. But they should know better than to wreck other people's vehicles on purpose. I was on FTO. Which is in the field training. My FTO was your stereotypical asshole cop who had a zero tolerance policy for everything. Well it was my second week and I pulled this lady over for an expired tag. Turns out she had a suspended license for a failure to appear which is an arrestable offense where I work. She had three happy meals in the front seat. She was just trying to run out and get dinner for her children. She was just a block away from home when I stopped her. I was going to give her a ticket but my FTO insisted on me arresting her and threatened to fail me if I didn't follow his order. Ended up arresting her and impounding the car with the kids dinner still in the car. I seriously thought about quitting that night. He wouldn't even let the lady call her boyfriend to pick up their only means of transportation. I fking hated that man. Not a cop. But x911 dispatcher. Want to know what pisses me off? People that get PFAs on someone and really freaking play dirty. They will know where a person hangs out. ETC. And will specifically go to that location knowing that the person is going to be there. And then have the fking balls to contact the police because the person has violated their PFA orders. In many cases people get PFAs on each other. So that if the other one violates it they can rat them out. The entire PFA situation is way out of hand nowadays. And don't get me started on child custody and sire involvement. I'm not an officer. But this is the story that we were both involved in. I was working second shift when three boys walked in. They were 8, 6, and 5 years old. Each of them stole a candy bar and tried to walk out. My co-worker caught them and brought them back in. I called the cops and their parents phone numbers. The officer took the call. Nodding a few times. He hangs up. Sighs and tells the boys that their parents are not picking them up. And they have to spend the night in jail. That officer came back the next day for his morning coffee. Telling us how horrible he felt and how he would do anything for his 8 year old. Why wouldn't they just pick the boys up? Edit. I'm not a cop but I worked for a lawyer as an assistant for 6 years and this is the one case that absolutely killed me. An elderly gentleman. Around 75-80. Maybe older. Went to a grocery store. Did his shopping and left. 
On the way home a cop pulls him over and arrests him for stalking. Apparently he went into several aisles that some psycho bitch that thinks everyone is obsessed with her was in. He happened to check out behind her and obviously left the store shortly after she did. When he got into his car. She called the cops and told them she was being stalked by this guy. The cops didn't believe him at all because apparently she was married to someone with le connections. I don't think it was another cop. But definitely someone connected to her. We were his defense counsel. He ended up pleading out and taking a criminal charge on his record and probation for 5 years just so he wouldn't have to go to jail. My son is in college preparing for a career in law enforcement. He's a good, kind, intelligent young man. Yes. He's a redditor. I worry not just about him being shot. But more about all the heartache and mind CKS that he will witness. Those life changing events OP was referring to in his original question keep me awake at night. And I hope that he has more affirming experiences than negative. Back when I was a cop. My colleague and I stopped a car driven by an old lady. No insurance. No license. We had the car confiscated and towed. As she collected her belongings out of the car. Pretty sullen faced. She pulls out a cake from the back seat. Turned out she spent all of her days looking after her severely handicapped daughter and had run out in the car to buy her a birthday cake. During writing her up and waiting for the tow truck to take away the car. Said daughter calls her up and asks where she is. Cue the most depressing phone call I ever had to overhear. Felt bad man. I was an investigator at a prison for about 6 years. I mainly did gang investigations and internal investigations. One investigation I did was on a female officer having a SL relationship with an inmate. When my investigation was complete. She admitted to having the SL relationship with the inmate. She also explained that her husband had left her and her three kids about four months prior. In the state I work for having a relationship like that is a felony and has a mandatory prison sentence. She was arrested that day at work. Went straight to jail. And her female judge wanted to make an example out of her and didn't grant her bail. She lost her kids. Now is a felon. And must register as a sex offender. Oh. I forgot to mention that she was one of my wife's good friends. All of this happened on the 22nd of November. Just before the holidays. I still feel horrible about this. But I had to do my job. I feel like people who aren't police officers, myself included, oftentimes have difficulty fully understanding the unique human aspects every crime possesses. Till there are a lot of cops on Reddit. When I was in high school. My best friend and I were part of a police sting where an officer would drive us around and we would try to buy alcohol without getting carded. I went to all the gas stations in town while he went to most of the restaurants. A waitress at a Mexican place served him a beer when he ordered it. So the officer came in and wrote her a ticket. We found out later that she didn't have a visa and ended up getting deported. She also had two young children. My friend felt so bad that he tried to track her down and send her the money he made from the couple of days we spent doing this. But he couldn't find her. He's a police officer now. And every time I see him. His proudest work stories are ones in which he has a chance to help someone. I arrested a father on Christmas Eve. This was one that will always stick with me. I was never a fan of DUIs, DWIs and TX, but it's part of the job. It was around 10. 30 PM and I was on patrol and turned off a side road onto a major highway. This guy was all over the road. I pulled him over and after all of the sobriety test. He knew he failed. He began pleading that he had to win 3 years and they would be crushed if he wasn't there on Christmas morning to open presents. He was about 25 miles from home. I told him no. He started crying like crazy. I'm not talking regular. I am talking Niagara Falls. Snot bubble crying. I didn't budge. I told him that having him alive to see another day would be worth it. And I took him in. I got to the jail. And noticed on his criminal record. That there was a prior arrest for intoxicated assault. Meaning he already had a drunken wreck. 
so that made me feel instantly better. Nobody made that jerk drive impaired. I'd feel bad for the kids if they even existed. But not him. I talked to an officer that had to arrest an 8 month pregnant mother of 3 after she slapped her husband. The husband spent the family's money on booze and other women. Leaving his family in an impoverished state to the point that the mother was using newspapers as diapers for her youngest children. When the wife slapped him. The husband called the cops. And she spent the night in jail. So. Do any of you have sad or gut drenching arrest stories that have stuck with you? I was once part of an undercover sting to bust up an armed hold up gang who had been targeting local banks. Being relatively new to the detail. I got to know the ringleader pretty well despite there being all kinds of regulations to the contrary. He was a cool guy. And I came to appreciate his laid back attitude and worldview. In the end. We dropped the net on them whilst they were trying to hit another bank. Cool guy makes a run for it and he gets cornered and refuses all verbal instructions to stop. I have a valid reason to fire my weapon. But in the end. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I think I wound up shooting into the air out of frustration. Man. I got chewed out for that. Last I heard. Cool guy had drowned off a beach somewhere in rough seas. Cuts me up just thinking about it even now. Give yourself a break. And maybe a point. There was this nice old lady in the community who held free art classes and maintained a neighborhood vegetable garden. Her husband had passed away. And it was just her and her four foster children. She also ran a GLBT outreach center and ran an atheist charity formed homeless. Everyone in the community loved her. In any event. She came down with cancer. And someone had called in a tip that there had been some drug activity in the house. A warrant was obtained. And we headed in. He had three marijuana plants. She had been using it for her nausea from chemo. However. She had enough in her possession for it to qualify as intent to deal. And she wound up getting 20 years in prison. The garden withered and her foster children were all relocated. She ended up dying in prison a few years later. Atheism and wrongful weed arrests? This story we've made for Reddit. That makes me want to throw up.